In Business Central, there are multiple ways to create a sales invoice. You have your sales orders, starting earlier from sales quote sales orders into sales invoice. However, these are all documents. You can actually create a sales invoice without a document itself, and that's called a sales journal. Let's go to Tell Me, search sales journal. From the sales journal, you can see here a couple of different things. We can see the posting date. We can see the type of document. This is going to be an invoice. I'm going to call this uh, demo invoice 01. The customer we're going to apply this to is going to be Trey Research. You'll notice here that if there is a currency applied, it would have applied the currency. For example, if I change the account number to Aditum, the currency has applied. And if that was $1,000, the local currency is using the last known uh, currency to, to convert. If I change that back to Trey Research, which is local currency, you lose that difference, which is great. We're going to scroll over. And from here, we're going to select our balancing account. And we're going to see this is a sale. And our posting group for this is domestic. And it's to do with retail. That's all we need to do. And we've got ourselves an invoice. Now we can actually add a second line and choose a different customer. And in this, we might change these descriptions and say this is a freight fee. And this one is a restocking fee. Okay, so both of those descriptions are what will be on those, those documents. And this is going to be a, uh, let's make that a bit smaller, $150 and $50 restocking fee. All right, we've got our sale. And we're good to go. And this journal now, as we post it, it will turn around and create the relevant journals that are required that normally would come from an invoice. Over on the far right, before you post, make note of your departments, your dimensions that may be required to be tagged for that particular transaction, and your customer group code, because these are our global dimensions. All right. So we've got ourselves here, two lines. We're gonna post, post, yes. That's how you create a sales invoice from the sales journal. Thank you.